Right now, lawmakers are trying to protect special education students from discipline that can turn into abuse. One state rep believes it all starts with the school resource officer. Here's News 13's Jeannie Nguyen. The school resource officer is a really a good point of value for the families and the teachers in that space to really promote the relationship building. As an Albuquerque Public Schools resource officer himself, Representative Patricia Ruyaloba has seen problems within the schools involving suspensions and incarcerations of students, especially those in special education. He believes all of that can be reduced by creating a better relationship between the students and school resource officer. But we're really talking about the role of the school resource officer in reducing some of that risk by building relationships, communicating with the families about what kind of de-escalation measures they use. Today, Rui Loba and other staff members from APS presented their case before the Legislative Education Study Committee in Española. Rui Loba says this conversation isn't something new to the committee. In the last session, he sponsored House Bill 330 and 490 to require all law enforcement officers to undergo additional training to be able to handle these tense situations with students. Those bills didn't pass. He's hoping today's meeting will help get those bills where they need to be in the next session. Training is going to be the most important thing, I feel, and then secondary identifying the role of that police officer so it's more restorative instead of responsive. An example mentioned during today's meeting, Rio Arriba County Sheriff's Deputy Jeremy Barnes. Back in May, Barnes tased a 15-year-old special education student. Rui Loba believes situations like this can easily be prevented. So the officer building relationships and understanding that space uh, understanding what the students' needs are are going to prevent or even de-escalate those situations. Jeannie Nguyen, Care Kiwi, News 13. Ray Loba says APS police will start to incorporate this new approach in their training soon. A mystery.